Hey guys, Zugal here today with my first tutorial in a while. I'm going to be showing you the turbulent expansion effect, I guess is what I'll call it. Um, this is what it looks like. I've used it in a lot of my videos. So, let's get right to it. Just going to bring in my clip here. Or Jinx's clip. I'm just going to cut the composition down to the kill cam, find where he shoots, make a new adjustment layer, and add turbulent displace. You can use other effects for this, but turbulent displace is the basic one, I guess, for it. So you're going to want to start the size around 100. And, or the amount, rather, not the size. You want to start the size lower, around 30. Keyframe both those where he hits the shot. Go forward, about two seconds maybe. And then keyframe your size somewhere higher, around 90, I'd say. And then this is going to end up at zero. And I'm just going to cut this adjustment layer, just like that. Okay. Now, you need a mask to make it expand because right now, that doesn't look too good. The effect just kind of pops onto the screen. But instead of just making a circular mask on this and using that, what we can do is make a black solid, add some turbulent displays, and add your circular mask onto here. By pressing shift command you can make it perfect. That's on a Mac by the way and uh, play with these settings just to get the right look. Um, I'm actually going to make this mask a little bigger than that. kind of just brings out the distortion more or the um the display the turbulent displays more it's easier to i just think it looks better that way i don't know why when you make it a bigger mask so that's fine right there with me actually that looks pretty retarded but i'm just going to get on with this and uh you're going to want to auto trace your black solid and if all your settings look something like mine make sure you have it your time span on the current frame and your channel is alpha and all these settings look something like mine you should be good to go press ok copy and paste this mask onto your adjustment layer and then now you can delete your black solid you need to make sure you make this mask an add operation or else you won't be able to see anything now go to the beginning of your adjustment layer or where he hits the shot you don't have to cut your adjustment layer you can add effects before or after um, you can do whatever you want with it but this is just how I'm gonna do it right here where he hits the shot um, you're probably gonna need to uh, make the expansion negative a little bit depending on how big you make your mask feather that a little bit and keyframe your expansion at the end um, I'm just gonna bring up the amount for a second just so I can see the expansion it's gonna go just off your screen a little bit it's good right there okay then you need to make sure you put this back at zero and then I'm just going to ease ease in these three keyframes. So, there's the effect basically. Other effects you can add onto this. I like to add CC radial blur. Make sure you make that a straight zoom. Q 
keyframe it at 15 to start. At the end, it's going to end up at zero. <coughs> and if you want to add even more, another thing you can do is if you duplicate your adjustment layer, delete those effects off it, and then duplicate the mask on that adjustment layer and make your second one a subtract operation and then drag the expansion keyframes forward a little bit when you add an effect onto this what should happen when you drag both these keyframes forward you should get a ring look or a ring effect and then if you just vary your feathering a little bit it should look better just like that and that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching Make sure to like the video if you learned something, and I'll see you next time.